people, welcome to the Naked Ego podcast. My name is Cassandra Bill. I am your host. Your host, Hatmaster Edgar. Hatmaster. And your baby girl. Baby girl. Nina. Nina. Nina Parsin. Nina Parsin. Um, you mm-hmm. prefer using the name Parsin or your other name? I'm indifferent, actually. Which one? My middle name, Wanjiru? Yes. Oh, I don't really enjoy Wanjiru. Wanjiru. Why? I just don't connect with the name. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Though it, I was named after one of my favorite people, but I just don't connect with that name. Even my actual do, first name, Penina. Do, do, do those uh, things really mean something to you? I it's not a meaning. I just don't see... When I look at myself, I don't see Wanjiru. No. Eh. Good stuff. Okay. Okay, so I came across something interesting on TikTok. Tiki Tok. So this was the question that was asked as a man. Aha. And this is... <laughs> this is just as to tie man. into like the previous podcast that we had mm-hmm. about uh, your averseness to Valentine's and the idea <laughs> of Valentine's. Eh? You don't let me. So we're exploring you're not, you're not that. Letting me go. No, no, no. no, no. You can't tell <laughs> you can't tell Forget that. We're going to explore that a little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. So these guys were asking a question. As a man, what's your favorite non-sexual act of intimacy? I think I saw that TikTok. Yeah. Can I vibe with you all is the name of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What's your nun? What is your favorite, favorite nun sexual act of intimacy? Mm. Wow. So here is where we answer. Yes. Preferably. Um, <laughs> it's a conversation. Before bedtime. <laughs> Massage. Okay. Yeah, does that count? It does the massage lead to sex? No. Okay. It can be then foot can massage. Uh huh. It can be foot <laughs> massage. <laughs> What's up? Like, like he just like no. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? Yeah, I think my my, my partner man. loves foot massage, back massage. Uh, mm-hmm. Her back still hasn't recovered. You, for you, you. You're not the act partner. that you do. What is an unsexual an act of oh, intimacy oh, that oh, you, as a woman, you receive? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I as a man, that you would like, you enjoy. It could be something new that you are interested in exploring. No, nowadays I love cuddling, man. Oh, yeah. are you the little spoon or the big spoon? I'm the big spoon. Have you ever been the little spoon? Yeah, my wife bullies me to be a small spoon <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I love being the small spoon. Yeah? What? I do. Why? I love it. I think I have this thing where I feel nice being taken care of. Yeah? And it feels like it's you're being taken care so of. So that is one way you feel being taken so care of. So I feel yeah. safe. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. So if it's someone I'm very comfortable with, yeah. Yeah. Being the little spoon. How does that on. work out if your partner is shorter? Bang on. We'll figure it out. Oh. We'll figure it out. Because <laughs> you're supposed we'll to fit into, into each we'll other. We'll figure it out. Whether shorter, <laughs> smaller in size, we'll figure it out. We'll yeah. Out. So, um, yeah, cuddling. Uh, what else? Conversations. Uh, yeah. 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 There's Chopping stories. Uh, yeah. Sometimes just. Those conversations, just okay. talk about stuff. Uh-huh. Sometimes we can um, pick random rough games that can prompt. <laughs> not not sexual. <laughs> <laughs> what are these random help rough it. games? I couldn't okay, help it. People playing like, rugby just, in the house. No, let's just say. I couldn't ra- help it. <laughs> random conversation <laughs> games that can uh, spark or start a conversation. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, for example, it's called this Steve Harvey show is called what? Family Feud. Family Feud. Feud. So we can pick Family Feud uh, games online, and then we can just play. To oh, yeah. okay, okay, that's fun. Yes, and uh, nowadays it's just and then fighting. Yeah, expound on fighting. Cosplay, am I? Small. Small two fights, like you're pushing each other. Oh, you're oh. Struggling. yeah, hey. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like I also Allah? find them intimate. Okay, yeah, okay. enjoy, and then what else? Uh, walks, okay, yeah, mm. walks, 
especially after after the baby we do a lot of walks with the baby yes uh uh-huh. ah, nice. so we get the baby the, um, the baby carrier and then we just take a walk mm. oh okay yeah what else i think you can take it over as i think about and take else. over yeah. uh for me conversations mm mm-hmm. conversations uh, about anything everything those those really do a lot for me mm-hmm. um being the little spoon like i said <laughs> <laughs> in the little spoon <laughs> another one is uh doing errands oh yeah i know that's a thing for you and me i don't really get it doing errands yeah doing errands is is another one doing errands together chopping labs errands, together yeah chopping labs together so it's like okay we, there's your th- the things you want to do the things i want to do okay let's put them in one let's see what put we can do put them in one car and do it put <laughs> them in one car put them in one day let's go ahead and do it yeah yeah i think that 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 would uh yeah that that would be that's a big one on me for me hmm another one let's see so something that i realized for me is like an unsexual act of intimacy yeah that i never i never thought of it was yeah. like when my partner cooks for me mm. cuz ah. i hate cooking ah, wow. i hate it with every fiber of my being but like if he cooks mm. like well, for me that that'll, that'll turn me on kidogo mm. i'm like mm, mm. Mm. you know <laughs> ah. yeah that <laughs> <laughs> Well. Um I I don't know whether this applies but for me just having a drink with my partner at a home drink. or outside. At home. Okay. Yeah, just drink having a drink and then now you chapa stories you mm-hmm. whatever but like ah cuz I know mine I think for the conversation one mm. if you have a really good balcony. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, if you are a, if you have a really good balcony. Man. Just go to the balcony you have as you say a drink maybe a snack mm. and then you just sit in silence yeah have some music playing in the background or talk uh where that is happening that's still fine some good mood lighting in the back balcony mm. ah man that's it's yeah that would that would really do good okay in that tiktok any uh, any i'm any trying to see what other people say people are saying yeah we can see if we can say yes or no <laughs> Someone was like when she whips a leg over me it makes me feel like I belong to her and she's well aware. Kwa kila watu mguu. Yero wa. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I mean this I thought this was an interest cuz like most of us don't think of intimacy sometimes outside of like no it just ending about, in a happy yeah, ending. Yeah, we just think about a happy ending, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just That's why I think men give the worst massages. Like okay. <laughs> God. Hey. Hey. Nina, please. I have felt Ay. Ay. I felt this that speech, stare. take it elsewhere, not here. No, I podcast. feel like sometimes like when a man wants to give you a massage, roho safi. Ah. Yeah, mm. atajitolea. Yeah. But when you want it, it's always like with aka, I don't know, I don't have a word for this. Aka question mark. Yeah. Caveat. Yeah, a thing that okay, he'll just give you and then like it has to lead to other things and then Oh. Like, I didn't want to go all the way like that. Yeah, it just it was just a massage. I just want a massage. massage. Yeah. Anyway, for me I'm still searching for for a massage without a happy ending. There's a day just a massage. <laughs> just want a massage. Just a massage only. There's, there's don't, a day don't touch was, me like that. There's a day I was told to give the massage. Mm. So I was busy. I think I was so excited because I knew it's going to have an happy end. <laughs> so I was Look on a BD. Yeah, so I was excited. Like yeah, yeah, make a effort. Lighting candle. Yes, na fanya zile. Ni ongea vizuri. Na mkanda kanda hivi. Ile mkanda. Na msukuma hivi na. So nikaenda below the west huko naenda miaka ni mbe we. It's a massage. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. Keep your hand. <laughs> Keep your hand where it needs to be. You can do it's a massage. Hapo ndio leona yenyewe it's a massage. Because I think for me the the term massage it's 
in the past it used to be like a nice way of to, yeah, introducing yeah. sex. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like for yeah, for like play. Play, yeah. yeah, get someone so comfortable, was, and then you yeah. give someone a three it, minute it, it, massage. It's like a means to, to an, an end. end. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. never. Yes. As they say, they say, you give it three minutes, and then that yeah. is like, yeah, so, it so 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 you are doing. <laughs> and then for more time, this is only forty five minutes, but <laughs> uh, three minutes at home may benefit kid to have. This is forty five minutes, but. Uh, ah. This episode has been brought to you by Istikbal. With over 60 years of manufacturing premium sofa sets, Istikbal is the right furniture store in Nairobi for your furniture needs. Visit their showrooms on Mombasa Road and Westside Mall Nakuru and shop the best living selections. Now I have a question uh, for Talk to us. both of you. Mm. Mm. We'll start with Jamlek. Uh, would you rather a woman who's good in bed or a woman who's good in the kitchen? You can, <laughs> you can spin it around. We have been el- eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> We, a woman who's good in bed or a woman who's good in the kitchen? Yeah. What would I rather? Yeah. Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah. And My first uh, love language, man, food, bro. For me? Would you food. rather a man who's food. good in bed or? Because a the, man? I think for me the. The Who's bed thing is, the kitchen. No, kitchen is not that right. The bed well, thing we can yeah. figure out. Just, just What is another it. option? I think yeah, maybe. Ah. Uh, uh, maybe a man who's moneyed and he's very bad in bed. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, let's Ooh. use that. <laughs> let's go with that one. Yes. A man who's moneyed versus yeah. one who's good in bed. Yeah. You know what? Yes. Money. Yeah, I'll take the money. I'll teach him. <laughs> You'll teach him. I'll yeah. teach him. I'll teach him the other things. Yeah. Because maybe same thing. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take them. Teach her in the kitchen. I mean, no, teacher, she's good in the kitchen. Mm. The best thing we can figure out. But yeah. if it's anything else that is not money, uh-huh. I will take, you take good the, in bed. The good in bed. Okay. No, for me, if, uh, you, good in bed versus good in the kitchen. Good in bed. I'm taking good in bed any day. Good in the kitchen. That we can do take away. Bit passionate. We can do take away. <laughs> good, good in bed. You cannot this, order. This podcast has really. Order. It's true. Me. It's true. You'll eat anyway. Yes, yes I'll eat. eat anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you have to be good in bed. That you can't borrow. You can't. <laughs> but you can't <laughs> borrow. <laughs> hey. So. Um, I interesting thing. Um mm-hmm. I was telling you I, I was having a conversation with a, a friend of mine. Mm. And uh they asked mm. uh I think she she had a contract somewhere mm-hmm. that uh, ended so she was like oh maybe you should uh invite me to your company if there's an opportunity. Mm. I was like okay cool. So at first I joked I was like ah me and you can't be in the same of office mm-hmm. it's not a good thing i uh, we laughed about it and then so i continued and asked her like what 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 job opportunity are you looking for mm. and then she asked me uh what job opportunities are available mhm mhm yeah so i found that question very disturbing why? why why would you ask me about the job opportunities that are available i've just asked you what job opportunities are you looking for it's because you work in the company no but w- the jobs that are available how how is that related to you looking for a job so that i can know so where that i, I can know in. what yeah what job i'd like no it's not related what would have made you no if what would have been the appropriate because there's the field that she's you? in no, but asked, there's the interest asked, that she has no i've asked i've asked you what opportunities are you looking for tell me about the opportunities you're looking uh-huh. for uh-huh If those opportunities are available, I'll tell you they are available now. If they're not available, I still have the information. With that information, I can use ah. that information to look around. The job opportunities that are available has got nothing to do with what you're looking for. I feel like it's the same thing but just said differently. No. I th- I feel like it's the same thing but said differently. Because you on your end it's it's You're asking her what no, it's, what it's, what is available. I like, mean, what it's, opportunities it's is like she looking for? It's like an interviewee for? asking an interv- uh, interviewing an interviewer. No, but see, an interview is different though, Bill, because it's for a specific job. This is someone who's on the search. So from her end, so, I see it from both. I see it from both sides, and I think both can exist, or both yeah, both can exist in the sense of on her end, she's searching for a job. 
So she's looked at your company, she's Istikbal, Sawa. Now in Istikbal, she knows what opportunity, I mean, what uh, field she's worked in, yeah, but maybe not necessarily what she's looking for. So it could be like, yeah, Bill, you, whenever you or your company, brother, advertises for jobs, let me know what's available because she does not have control over when Maybe Istikbal she also has like a background that is diverse that can fit into many yeah that's 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 where you come in if i ask you what job opportunities are you looking for okay say so for me if i say i business development okay business mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. how would you then i ask you okay what should i ask you what opportunities are available mm. in that category no I, th- I think uh, the main reason why i'm bringing this up i feel like people need to be very not really precise, they need to narrow it down exactly to, to on what they're looking for. Um, let me give you an example. We were doing an interview today mm-hmm. and uh, we were looking for a HR person. Mm-hmm. So the person that we interviewed first had, mm-hmm. background, had background from three different fields. Mm-hmm. So the HR is the recent career path that she just picked up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she kept talking about all these three different fields that uh, she was part of. Mm. And it was the one reason that led us not to really consider her. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. In the sense that we are looking for a HR. Mm-hmm. We called you for a HR interview. Yeah. Why are you telling about all these other things? Were the other fields closely related yeah. to no. HR? Oh, okay. There's no resonance, no relevance. Oh, no, they're not. They're not really. It it's it's a good to have. Tell me why this 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 like caught your attention. I I just feel like um, in the job space, I'm happy to be in a space where sometimes I sit in the interviewing uh, room, so mm-hmm. I'm part of the guys interviewing, and you get to experience see that like there's um. Uh, there's some sort of people not really knowing what they're looking for. People are all over the place. Uh, there's this narrative, oh, I'll, I can do anything. Mm-hmm. No, nobody can do anything. You can't do anything. There are things that you want to do. Stick to that narrative. And I feel like it's even much easier if you know what you're looking for and be very sp- precise. Hunt for that one specific thing. If you're hunting it uh, in my company and that opportunity is, is not available. If I propose something different, then it's upon you to say, okay, I'll hang on to that. It's a low-lying uh, low lying fruit up until this other opportunity comes up. Come comes up. up. You know what I mean? We can expound that a I bit. Mean. We can expound that a bit. Uh-huh, go in the sense of, uh, I get what you're saying and it makes sense. Uh, I, I won't dismiss it to anything. Uh, the thing to do with people being all over the place, I feel like sometimes that also comes from a place where, like currently, mm-hmm. the job market, as you know, is has slimmer opportunities. So you're also coming, you're, you're also experiencing candidates who don't, if they say they can do anything, they don't, they, they rather say that so that they don't, they don't, they fear losing out no, but they do on opportunity. Job, eh. Like I just want a job. I, I can get what you're saying as an interviewer and height, height looks, yeah, in the interview. Now also just standing, even if it's whether right, wrong, mm. yeah, uh, or whether it sells them short from your point of view as the interviewer, mm. yeah, which is the case. Standing in the other person's shoes, they're coming from a place where, man, maybe this is the one interview they've been called for in the last six months. So it is... Also, it could it be is, maybe like yeah. her experience in HR was not as diverse as the other jobs she had done. There you go. Because she like I also had more, find that... Had more to talk about. Uh, personally, I don't... I try not to prep too much for interviews because I don't know what the other people are going to ask me. Yeah. yeah? yeah. And I find that if I prep for the interview, I only... Like my answers are so fixed. If they yeah. don't ask me those questions, I'll find a way to insert that answer, answer in any that. question that they ask. Oof. That's a possibility. Like that could have happened. Eight four four. Eight four four. You you get yeah. Eight, four, You've crammed the answers. You know yeah. when they ask you how does your background, how will your does your background tie in with this with job? This. Then you're like, this is what I have. I have to answer it like that. Yeah. No, uh, 
when it comes to interviews, I, I, I feel like uh, the best way to prepare is to look for possible questions that these type of uh, interviews, uh, people who are doing this type of interviews ask. Something can be one, two, three, four, five, to just give you a general idea. I went for an interview at, at KRA. Let me give you an example. Uh -huh. KRA is a place where the interviews should be structured. Yeah. They went and told me this question for sell me this pen. Yeah. Sell us this pen. Yeah, I've gone through that or, before. I can't even remember what it was, but they gave me something. Rebu, sell, sell this us to this us to or us. describe yeah. this thing to us. Mm. Explain how you would use it. But you know, every market has a bad person. And <laughs> <laughs> so everything I'd prepared for into the technical position. That was done. Didn't yeah. count. Didn't count. It's like you are, you are set up to fail from the word go. So yeah, it, it's, my, it's not for you. Yeah. yeah but it's, if, it's, if, uh, maybe I would say maybe it's, it's for the amusement of the interview. Yeah, <laughs> so these guys were yeah. just having fun. They were just out to have fun. My life like could show me something. If, if it's not related, why are you bring it up? I feel like most of the interview spaces that I've been in, it's all about you trying to invite us into that space. Like mm. if, if, for example, if I'm doing marketing, I'm inviting you into that space. Okay. How do I perceive? How do I go about doing um, things in the marketing space? What are my success stories? What do I even consider as a success? Challenges. How do I mm. deal with challenges? Those two small, small. I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like interviews are so technical. Like you don't even get to know the person. I feel like we panic you a don't. lot. We panic a lot before even we get to the interview. But you see, the thing is, panic is. Panic is 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 uh, it's not specific. It's people, people are human beings. There are some people who are very confident going into interviews. Some panic. Now the people who panic, it doesn't mean they don't know. It doesn't mean they're ill prepared. They just panicked. Mm. But of mm. course, now to the interviewer, they look at it as ah, Nina wasn't ready. Yeah, she knew that. This like sometimes design. maybe I just you need to crack a joke to relax. Yeah, and then now laugh at my life coach gave me. Do whatever you wanna. My do. Sometimes they'll just stare at you back. My life coach gave me something. There's one who did a mock interview prep and she was posing as an interviewer who was disinterested so it's a zoom mm -hmm. thing that we're doing and she's here she's on the phone i think you repeated that already could you please make your answer shorter and she's just on her phone but she did it deliberately to see if i'd be triggered mm. you know to react a certain way that she wanted you know, she was looking for a response from me. Mm. And so she had to do anything and everything to provoke me to give the, to see if I will be, if I'll fall into that trap mm -hmm. or I'll, I'll, I'll be cautious, uh. which I did. I was, I was just, I was chill. But she gave me, you now after that, she's like, I did all this deliberately. Because she didn't tell me she was, she was just like, hey, let's just do a mock interview. Let's just see how it goes. Mm. So I was like, okay, so I, I panicked a bit because I don't done an interview in a while, even if it was a mock interview. And then as we're talking and she was just, she was so passive aggressive. She was on her phone. She kept interjecting me every one, two lines, mm. you know. Oui. Um, she's just like, can you repeat that? Then as you repeat, like, ah, fine, let's just move on to the next question. And you're like, Yo, but I was, that's, and you have to keep readjusting the, yourself. And, and that is most cases. Most of the interview spaces that you yeah. go to, people will be assholes. People will be yeah. passive aggressive. Yeah. People will be like, what the fuck are you even doing here? Mm. There is that. Only a few spaces I've gone to that actually people who are interviewing would care to even tell you, you know what, uh, would like you to just relax. This is just an interview. Mm -hmm. Do you have any routine that you would like to do to help you relax? Ah. Uh, yes. Do you want to shake oh, my hand? Finish. Yes. Yes. I feel like the, the people, yeah. nice they're, they're the few people, and it's, it's, it's not a common thing. True, Those not, people are not, not common, common out there. Yeah. Yes. I like the job I have now. I had a very interesting interview. Remember the time I was going to the airport? Yes. So the guy came and he was like, ah, we'll just have a casual chat. Right? Mm. Come meet. Actually, oh, he's like, yeah. let's have a drink. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, okay, do I go order alcohol? Like, you know, I, yes. you're just there Googling, should mm. you order alcohol? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, but like, it was so, the interview was so cleverly done mm. because he, I work in a technical field. Like, all the technical questions were asked the way I'm just having a conversation, conversation with you. Yeah. So it was very relaxed. We talk, mm. It was the day the president was being sworn in. Mm. The following mm. day. So mm. we talked about politics. Mm. But in him asking me these questions, he was interviewing you. He was Interview. interviewing yes, me. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, this is really clever. And I feel that's, that would I, be a nice I was very relaxed. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, 
you know the thing with with with, with companies mm. you want to employ people who will give you the best yeah mm. and i feel like this thing of always giving people the worst part of you as an interviewer mm. will translate to getting and and then responding you know having readjusted and the mm. calm and whatever will give you the best mm. and i'm like sometimes you don't have to you know like this thing for internships mm. because i went through a really bad internship I'm so when, when I'm now able to hire, mm. I have to put the intern through hell awesome. for them mm. to, and I'm yeah. like, you don't have to do that to all the learn, time, just yeah. to learn. Sometimes you can learn through kindness and warmness and I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> Would you date a broke guy? How broke? Very broke. Nothing. Ca- uh, you have to cater for his transport when he's coming to no. your space. Why not? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking because I'm a broke guy so I'd like to know. Um, <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> Did stop laughing. I'm being honest. I'm a broke guy. Um, so I'd like to know like you know. I feel like that would <laughs> overwhelm me. There's no uh-huh. like Yeah. What what part would overwhelm you? Having to cater to his lifestyle? It's not even catering to his lifestyle. I just feel like you know you should just try. <laughs> so no no no, no. Oh, I don't know. Let's just try. say the season you've the season you've met the guy. Yeah. He's broke. It doesn't mean sort of from a lack of That's trying. what I'm saying. How broke? Very he's broke. He's broke. He's a broke guy. I don't think you should be dating anybody if you're zero zero. Jesus. I, no, no, if it's it's now up to you. Damn. <laughs> It's not up to him. Hey, it's up to you. Hey, <laughs> would you date him? Wow. Um, she said no. She said I no. said no. Said no. It's a hard. Damn. It's a well, hard. Yeah. It's, it's, there, there's something I saw here. Okay. One of our friend. Uh, Let me friend. give you the so reason. You, Let me explain so, further. So then you, you date a you date a broke girl. Yeah. I mean, for men it's different. Why? For men it's different. Why is it for, different? Yeah. For, for, <laughs> Why? For men, men date below. Men, men debt no debt down, women debt up. It's very tricky to say. Like, <laughs> like I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying. <laughs> I know what he's saying. Uh, I know what he's saying. Anyway, yeah, but the context we understand. Yeah, the context, yeah, yeah, we understand yeah. the context. Yeah. I think, like me, when I'm broke, yeah. I have the worst mood swings. Mm-hmm. I am. You don't want to be around me. I have mm-hmm. money moods. I nothing makes me happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> God, sorry. I also ready to counter, but it will excite me. There's yeah. just there, there's no color in the world, yeah. Okay. So I look at it from that lens, mm-hmm. right? Uh-huh. I I feel like I I, I just feel like what you're too. So let me throw you one over. Mm-hmm. I feel like with relationships, yeah, you're never at a constant financially. It's That's it's, true. it's never it's never colorful all the time, mm-hmm. and in my opinion. When there is no color or there's very little color, that is when your relationship will de- 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 the cementing of relationship will de- be detected by that that situation. <sighs> that <laughs> the, I feel like that I feel <laughs> like, like I feel like that's the part that will be okay. Okay, I, I, say, I, I am say willing. I am willing. I say yeah. Uh-huh. I am willing. But what's the caveat? But and I am willing with very little flexibility uh-huh. <laughs> to engage it at the level like I am I am going to choose to work on the relationship in that time. And th- there's only one condition to this, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. My partner has to be someone I am making the choice about. Right? It's like this person sour, we're going through. Also, I don't want to start a relationship broke. For me, no, no, guys. <laughs> Damn. It no. Jeez. <laughs> I just like we should start somewhere before the hardship comes. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. then we're like, okay, at least we know how we are with the money now. now like, if maybe you found the guy and that's that's what happened. Like no one you know, again, we can't control variables of life. Okay, yeah? what are the efforts that uh, the person is making to Applying get out jobs. of brokenness? Applying for jobs. Mm-hmm. Something yeah. else. Applying for jobs. Something else. Working hard. Working hard. <laughs> Adam from Jengo na fanyanga kazi. The house is clean. Hard. The house is clean. There's food. But I don't want it to relate it to like the things they do are in the house. So, because this is how broke I'll take it. Mm-hmm. 
this is how broke cuz i and okay okay so sorry 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 say. no 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 it's a sense of this isn't my life right now mm-hmm. i'm a broke guy yeah let me it's use it, it as an example it's simple it's as example yeah uh-huh. i have had situations where i feel like my worth as someone's partner mm-hmm. is lacking because i'm broke mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so ignore ignore car drive mm mm-hmm. where i live you know that your financial I'm looking status, at my finan- yeah. I look at my bank account and financial I'm muscle. not I don't have a lot of muscle right now mm-hmm. yeah it's it's you maybe do small jobs here and there you get some little money but it's mm-hmm. not consistent mm-hmm. I do acknowledge that that creates uh not imbalance it you is an imbalance sour. so yeah. there's imbalance but maybe to to contextualize the imbalance is it's not structured life for me is not structured at the mm-hmm, moment it's mm-hmm. it's i have money when i have money mm-hmm. okay um efforts that i put in are you try to network you apply for jobs mm-hmm. uh, you you're going around asking people uh, hey mm-hmm. i am here i'm job searching which i still do to date mm-hmm. yeah that sometimes dictates that you need to spend a little bit more money mm-hmm. now th- the jobs such aside there's now time with your partner Mm-hmm. you are limited at maybe the number of activities you can do with your partner outside True. the house and sometimes that that for me even before my part before it gets to my partner i get affected mm-hmm. i get affected that i can't do and don't necessarily like me paying for everything i'm even coming from the place where sometimes even my partner is open to splitting bills mm-hmm. so that sometimes i am not able to meet my half Mm. I don't have an expectation that my partner should meet my half. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'd even rather to send them early. Yeah. But when that decision has come, it's because I'm open with the fact that I don't have money to cover even my half of the bill. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm not necessarily ashamed by it, mm. but I feel it messes with my mood. The mood things you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but that, la- that, that feeling of lack of worth comes mm-hmm. in it sets in so then now the mo- it, it now affects the mood it affects your energies mm. it affects how your present day relationship mm. um but it's not of my choosing that I'm in this situation yes mm-hmm. there are those situations of broke men mm-hmm. who now leech onto their partners they're called homosexuals those ones yeah the term. <laughs> i mean i've never known the term i've just like i've heard it today but we'll rhyme like we've had like we know it it's an existing term <laughs> <now, but> like... <laughs> i don't know if the street lingo means g <laughs> yeah Sounds but like so at least i'm more coming from the place where i'm mm. going to leech on my partner at least yeah. for me i i don't have that in me kama yeah. sina sina but i'm not going to sit and be like i'll go to a restaurant and tell my sa sunatlipia or like I go to certain places and then I'm already setting my partner up to pay okay, okay. for certain things. Okay, okay. Then that things. makes sense because you should have the conversation prior. Yeah, so don't pay for my life. It's if you if you volunteer to pay for certain things, sour, but I don't it's not an expectation that I have I mean, like, happen. I mean like money constantly. is complex in relationships, you know. Yeah. That's why I feel like I don't want to start at a point of disadvantage already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's going to just get more complex. Mm. Mm. For me personally, okay. I also prefer that my man pays for most things. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> in this economy. <laughs> in this economy. <laughs> in, this, in this economy. I was, I was just about to ask like In this economy. Like your cars. type of guy, like the masculine in this super economy. super flexy, I want to take care of my woman type of man. I wanted to ask the type of man you and you're just answering like as i'm thinking about like for me mm. i prefer to play the feminine role in the relationship you don't to be the woman yes mm-hmm. yeah i know that is not always the case 100% of the time i'm in the relationship sometimes my masculine energy is needed right mm. but there are some things that for me i require my man to do yeah like, like just pay for dates you know uh i've not lived with a man so i don't know how that would be so if he doesn't have me two more oh yeah two okay. um pay for my dates. basic my bare minimum yeah mm-hmm. pay for dates the things that you prefer your man to to do in terms of like material because this is a material aspect yeah let's go shoot let's go. uh i feel like 
where I am right now in my life, I'd mm. like I require my man to have his own house. Uh-huh. Um I'd require like some like for me I need to see your vision. I need to see that okay, even though you're not where you need to be financially, uh-huh. like what's the fucking plan? Like what are we doing, you know, cuz the expectations on this are like Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, but like I can't think of them now. But like for me, that is something I like. It's a way that I feel appreciated when my man does those things. I have a question. Ask. Have you ever dated a broke guy? Yes. How broke? Uh how broke? Maybe that's not the question to ask. ask. What was the experience with a broke guy? No, I wanted to know how broke. Okay. How Answer. broke? Yeah. Not how broke at zero was... zero. Okay. But like. Not doing financially well. What was your experience with him? Um, it was matters a, outside the bedroom. It was difficult. It, like I tried to be understanding mm-hmm. of the situation, but like at some point I'm like, you know, <laughs> that's what you expect, and it's not coming. Yeah, like we're not able to relate because like we, it's difficult to make plans in the relationship as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then like at some, for me, I felt like at some point the relationship became stagnant. Yeah, because I can't be doing everything. Mm-hmm. You also need to like have an input in the relationship. Say, for example, mm-hmm. so the the burnout happened faster mm-hmm. for me, okay. and I got. I started getting frustrated, and I was uh, not happy in the relationship. What anymore. was the breaking point? Uh we broke up because of something else, not the money. Uh, what yeah, but the money contributed. The finance. Something else. Something mm. else. Just something. Oh, else. Just um, something else. we had different value systems <laughs> yes. about certain. In things that were important for me and not money related. Don't just ask another question. That's enough. Like it was we're in a long <laughs> distance <laughs> situation. It's enough. It's enough. They were like there's a way I felt like I wanted it's my needs met in the long distance yeah. Yeah. situation yeah. and they were not being met and yeah, yeah, yeah such things. Okay. Uh, my POV. Mm. Um, I don't think broke guys should be dating. Fuck. Right? Yeah. We've agreed uh, on something yes, today. If I've been broke and be, uh, in a relationship, and oh my god, it was pathetic. It yeah. was terrible. Uh, it was a roller coaster. It just a lot of things were happening. Um, you lose your self worth. Mm, uh, it affects your confidence. Yes, your confidence is not is not there. Did it affect your sex life? Yes, I even cheated because oh. now I'm craving some sense mm. of appreciation, mm. valuation, and it was not coming from my partner. So I had to look for it somewhere. Uh, yeah, uh, long story short, a broke man should be working as much, as hard as he can to try and sort his brokenness. That is one. Mm. Two, mm. You, you as a broke guy, you can't think straight. Mm. You can't think straight. Uh, there are certain things as a man that needs to be in the right place for you to gain that confidence, for you to walk w- with what, your head high. What are high. these things? Uh, things like just being able to take care of yourself. Mm. Like, okay. like y- you can walk into a restaurant and just uh, pay for your own meal without really checking your balance. Your bank balance, yeah. And yes, okay. you get it. Yeah, you can, um, you can provide for yourself, the basic needs that you need. Mm-hmm. You can buy yourself food. Mm. You can pay for your space. You can buy yourself clothes. Uh, you can uh, invest in your future in terms of either your saving, mm. your learning. Those basic things. Mm. Like, you can survive to walk around there without asking for money. Yeah. Yes. That need to be the bare minimum. Yeah. Then from there, you can start looking the uh, the chicks or women's direction. Hey, it's as a fitty. <laughs> you can but, tip your toe. Yes, you can tip your toe. <laughs> but before you get to that point, I feel like you as a man, you shouldn't be looking or even thinking about tipping your toe. Okay. You should be working on yourself. Do you think yeah. a man should pay for most of the things? Uh, yes. Do you think a man should pay like for her woman's his woman's grooming? Yes. Why? Uh, for me, for me, it's uh, it feels nice to take care, protect, provide, and spoil my woman. Like I, if I have it, 
Yeah. If I have it, man, I'm just going to spoil you. I <laughs> want it feels it it's good for my ego, my self-worth. Ah, man, I'm going to walk out there, you know what? I I'm, I'm the G. I do stuff for my <laughs> for my girl. You get? So okay. it's it's good for my ego. Yeah. It's good for the relationship itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's even good for the woman. Okay. Yes. I feel like this is just my personal opinion. Mm. Like I I feel like the one thing that mm. I'm required to pay for myself is my personal grooming. Yeah. Mm. Unless you want to treat me but it's not an expectation in the like I I'll pay for my nails, I'll mm. pay for my hair, mm. I'll pay for my waxing, mm. I'll do all my personal grooming myself. Mm. I don't feel like that is a man's responsibility. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Me think I do it as a treat. Me, me, yeah. I do it as a treat. Me I don't care. You want it I'll give it to you <laughs> if I have it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I've always been curious about that anyway, whatever. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I was going uh, that's a, I was going to hit that. Thank you. This is mostly for you and Edgar. So there there are two ways to You want to go first? No, no. I just thought of a follow-up question. So there's that one for what happens if you go broke while in the relationship. Mm-hmm. And then what if man and woman are both broke? And like what? each other. And you like each other. There's what you've said and that's fine, <laughs> valid. Uh-huh. But you too, you too. Because I mean, women, get, women, women, uh, there are some women who are broke as well. Yeah. What But, the fuck? What, what so, the fuck? So, mna you guys are attracted to each other. Don't keep your vibe. feelings Being in the Being a broke wallet. woman is not normally a big problem. Yes, a woman can be broke. That's okay. That's as I've said, a man debts down. A man mostly they you look for a woman who's below your how would I call it? Call it? Is your financial your financial status. Your financial status in most cases you'll find yourself attracting and then you, and then you elevate mm-hmm. her. Yes, you attract women below your financial status. Uh-huh. For a woman you you are attracted to men who are above your financial status. Sometimes within but they need to kind of be somewhere. Mm-hmm. You as a woman you can't just be attracted to a broke guy. Oh, I love that guy. Why? Oh, he's the love of my life. Why I just love him. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work <laughs> that way. I mean, you're not going to be in a relationship with him is the thing. And, you can and, do other things but not No, but but also come to think of it. <laughs> come to think of it. How wow. do you even meet this broke guy? Let me tell you something, Bill. Yeah, Bro, there's a theory. Guys meet. Guys How? meet. Guys date. Wherever. Guys are married right now. How? Hey Let me tell guy. you something. There's a story that was on Reddit hey. once hey. about the yeah. dick that slaps is broke dick. I've heard about that. <laughs> yeah? That, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that. <laughs> But before you get to the dick, how did you guys meet? I was looking for dick. Okay. You go to the places where you're looking for dick, I guess. <laughs> okay, if you're looking for it the dick, then it could be just one. It could be just yeah, no, anywhere. anywhere. No, but if you're looking Outside for a dick, it could be in traffic. Yeah, if you're looking for a dick, you've looked for a dick at the right place. <laughs> <laughs> could be the so, job i don't so know so to answer you the, your question was uh what happens if yeah, well, you, you go get, get broke, you go the, broke yeah. Yeah, yeah while in the relationship so it can go two ways there is the healthy relationship mm-hmm. and then there is the toxic stroke let's call it unhealthy right. unhealthy mm. yeah. even when your money it was still toxic yeah, yeah. what happens Yes. Yes. So it's a healthy relationship and you go broke. Leave you both go broke. No, you the you man, as a man, the man go broke. goes broke. Yeah. For me I'd be like how long are you going to be broke? You can't uh, Yeah, no, like you can also if he's lost his job, say. So, okay. COVID. Okay. There are a lot of guys who that happened to. COVID was, COVID was a pandemic. Fine, but it's in, not a it, good, it's not a normal. And I think also, ex- but but like, Nina, like, in this, it, fine, it was the one very unique situation. Mm-hmm. But there are very many people from our parents below, uh, before them, allow who were in situations where either the business tanked, I, allow, uh, uh-huh. they lost their job for whatever reason. You are retrenched that day. Your boss is. You know, it's going to be difficult people. in a pandemic to think correctly. In my opinion, yeah. Okay, scratch the pandemic. <laughs> We are, but then the 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 constant that I'm talking about is, a guy has lost his job, or business has gone down, or both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
meaning that now the financial muscle the guy had to do the things that he was doing isn't possible anymore. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, How long can we survive with the money you have? This is a good question to ask. After I'm broke. So yeah. after it's still. Uh, they, I mean, I'm asking like I- even after that, it's still yeah. with the money that you have. After by broke meaning. Mm. Now it's run now, out. Now you're depending on... Now you don't have the money. Now you're literally depending on the person you're in the relationship with because you're already in that relationship. Okay. Yeah. This is... An, I think the first, the first uh, idea you, you ask, like, how long are you going to support? Yeah. That leads somewhere in a conversation. I mean, you know, you don't even have to ask. You'll see based off, like, the person's... When you energy apply, basically. Yeah. So you have something to say? Yeah. Okay. I actually wanted to know, like what type what type of broker are we talking about but he's elaborated yeah. he said uh something has happened uh there's no money coming in and you guys have depleted whatever you saved or whatever mm-hmm. you had mm-hmm. so now you are flat foot you don't have anything what happens is i think me is it's now on that other other person man if I'm the broke one, mm. it's on the woman. Ah, it's, na, na, na if it's on the woman. <laughs> if you feel like, <laughs> at the end of the day, also, uh, you can be broke, but you are putting things in place, mm. and you can be broke and waiting for the opportunity. You're just chilling, waiting. Mm. You are the victim. So, if 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 you're the vi- victim, you're just chilling there. Oh, shit happened. Oh, 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 you're just you're not doing anything, man. You deserve to be left immediately. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you are broke and you're doing, you're proactive. Yeah, proactive. You're trying to patch things together. You're doing stuff. Like for example, let's say for example, I was a marketing manager at uh, Istikbal, and then I've lost my job. Mm. But in the meantime, I'm trying to even go to a, a hotel somewhere to just make a, a 500 bob or 700 bob per day. I'm trying to do things. Mm. No, that needs to be given time. I, and, and one thing I've learned and I've seen in women, women love that effort. Mm. They love the effort. They want to see you trying to do something. Mm. And True. a good woman will give you the time. But if you're just there f- walking around feeling like a victim, oh, Maze, oh, Maze, since I lost that job, I, I'm not even getting interviews. No, man, you see, even Jemo is not even talking to me. No, that type of energy, you need to be left. Yeah. Yes. So I feel like it needs to be proactive. Yeah, so I think the idea is um, uh, broke men should be putting in the effort now and working so hard. But I think what caught my eye was uh, there's this story that was shared on my own, um, it's called story. Somebody shared a story mm. and it was, and I read, if there's one advice I can give to all the girls out there, it's always date a rich person. And I mean always, broke people are not worth your time and energy. Because somehow they will convince themselves that they are deserving of you when you are basically doing charity work. And they will do you as dirty as rich nigger would do. Or worse, feel like they need something new after they get uh, some money. So basically, it's a long, 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 long thing to read. But I feel like there's this narrative that um, you women... Especially us guys. Uh, you guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys are spreading, especially around your. Um, is it? PS? I mean, is that babe from Nairobi? It's just somebody post. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a Nairobi thing. It's a Nairobi it's thing. Yeah, yeah, if you're Nairobi, date a rich man. Oh. That's the only way. Instagram. Okay. No, it's okay. Because the heartbreak is the same. It's okay <laughs> with Nairobi in the Nairobi <laughs> dating scene. <laughs> It's okay, but it felt like uh, uh, rich or brokenness is the f- first thing to look at. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, she makes it look like dating is not, it's it's something you do for a period of time. It's like a, a job opportunity. It's not permanent. It's a gig. 
it's like a gig yeah it's a gig mm. she makes it look <laughs> so like, it's so like when yeah. it's there it's there yeah so Ikisha, you go Ikisha. in there benefit yeah. yourself as much as you can and then disappear you, disappear. you get it mm. it's okay it's okay you can do it it can work for you yeah but the challenge is um we are bringing up a generation with uh, standards and expectations that they ca- they themselves can't manage can i give you a risk that maybe women have mm-hmm. when you date below you mm-hmm. right the possibility that your man will accelerate past you and no longer be interested in you the thing you were saying just now yeah mm-hmm. men have the same that It's a possibility when, both when, ways. Yeah, it's a possibility yeah, both ways, yeah. yeah. And we also have that thing of in case she makes more money, makes more money than me, mm. then she may not be interested in me anymore. Mm. She look for someone who's leveled up to her. Yeah. Her, her, where she's at. Where she's now gotten to. I mean also it's important to understand like your pa- your the person you're dating their financial health mm-hmm. and what they think about how they think about money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Because you might find a rich person right whose money is dirty yeah mm-hmm. fuck you get Fun, yeah. yeah yeah you'll enjoy the money but it yeah. comes you know it the comes story of you would you rather be crying on a bicycle or a bmw or, or, uh, uh, or whatever where, 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 where would you be crying bro in a range rover what do you mean a bicycle everyone will see me as they just drive their range rovers <laughs> past me <laughs> ah, well on the bike <laughs> <laughs> Yeah so I think <laughs> I I think with uh, that uh, oh the boy child out there you've had uh, from uh, baby girl herself mm, so this girl. is an opportunity for you to challenge yourselves to mm. go out there and make your money yeah and, and when you make your money and they come for your money be smart about it about your money be smart because we are it. going to come get the cookie and keep the money <laughs> oh! <laughs> find a way to keep the cookie and Guys, the money the, the cookie and the money the podcast is over <laughs> bye <laughs> And with that we wrap it up. Uh thank you guys for listening. You can watch like, uh share and subscribe. Um, yeah. If you have uh something to contribute. Yeah, let us know how Let us know, yeah. yeah. Would you would you date a broke person. guy or no? Eh. If you're a broke guy out there, tell us. Uh do you want to date or do you want to hustle? Mm-hmm. Share yeah. your POV. If you're like me, please I'd like to hear your opinion. Yeah. yeah. Uh so with that, uh this is the Naked Ego podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. That took a lot out of you. <laughs> <laughs>